Welcome back. So, last time we did the light and IPR render, so we can uh, test the texture. Today we're starting with blend shape and specifically we're doing closed eyes. So, here we get to it. Okay, so that's where we left it off. On the right I have um, layer for my lights so I can switch them on and off easy. Okay. Let's expand this. Copy for our first blend shape. Let's rename it to closed eyes. Oh, because afterwards we will separate from the whole blend shape for both closed eyes. We're going to separate uh, left and right, upper and lower. You'll see. Yeah, I've got my screen too close because when I work I like it close, but when I'm doing this I need a bit of space. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I need to center to the in phase mode. F on the keyboard to center, otherwise the, the model keeps jumping, so we can center to the area where we want to work on. So now I'm thinking he's got very, very different eyes than the usual characters that um, I've done blend shapes for. So uh, that's why it took me three videos to actually show the process, because I myself was... Um, hesitant uh, of how it would work. I'm in the smooth mode, you can see. So three on the keyboard. I've applied the um, smooth modifier, if I can say that. So you see now I'm testing, see where are they gonna meet. And the other thing is that um, uh, his eyelids close um, all the way around the eye as well, and it's very difficult. You see how his eyes are popping out a little bit? So that's why it's a bit tricky. We've got enough um, loops there, which is good. That's why I made it that way, so we've got plenty of um, geometry to stretch so it doesn't stretch the texture as well that much. You see, they usually will go down and then they kind of, they rotate a little bit, the eyelids. Don't forget to have the symmetry on so we can uh, do both eyes at the same time. I almost want that whole loop at the top to kind of rotate a little bit and cover the eye. So I'm, I'm testing a few ways. Usually I'll go edge by edge and just meet the top and, and the bottom. But first I need to get where I want it and then gradually kind of um, drag it down. The rest of the geometry, if that makes sense, what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm doing that. Just testing. If I pull um, which, first of all, which loop to start, that's very important. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, begin starting the 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 closed eyes blend shapes, especially on non traditional character, is the trickiest part. Figuring out which way the uh, edges. I'm trying with faces as well, but I don't think it worked with faces. I don't know which way I chose. I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's um very tricky, isn't it? Definitely no faces. Come on, that doesn't look right. No. We need to go with edges. I had to try. <laughs> right? Now here I think maybe I will try soft select. Or no? Or just see where the whole loop goes. Scared down. Did it work that way? I can't remember now. Whether this way I started pulling everything down. At the end, they were okay. The blend shapes for the closed eyes were worked really well. <clears throat> it's just figuring out how to bring all that geometry down. So I'm in sculpt mode. Yeah, I love using the um, uh, sculpt um, tools for the blend shapes. It's amazing. <clears throat> Let's move that out a little bit, bring it up to where we want to pull it down a bit. Mm. Oh, it's not going to work. Let's pull them down. Smooth. Ooh, I went too far up, didn't I? Pull them down a bit. Need to decrease my uh, brush size. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> See, anticipate what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, let's smooth that a bit. Bring it to the same level with the other. Yeah. It's not what we wanted, come on Z. <laughs> I gave up with the um, scalp tool. It's because it's uh, in with smooth modifier and um, it stretches quite a lot the geometry there. <clears throat> Sometimes I start with um, uh, the normal geometry, uh, with the original one, before I um, actually go into smooth mode. So I did decide to go with faces rather than edges this time. Interesting. Yeah, I wasn't working with the edges, was I? And then I can bring bring the edges once I have them at the level that I want them. No, let's leave this up. It's working well actually with the faces. <clears throat> There we go. We went into the normal one. You see what happens? <laughs> yeah, starting actually in normal mode, it's it's easier. And then um, we start adjusting it because once the eyelids are meeting in the normal mode, if you jump to the smooth mode, it kind of shrinks a little bit. So you adjust them afterwards. So you see, it's much easier to move uh, my um, vertices and edges around, even in sculpt mode. I didn't want to smooth it. I just wanted to move it. 
It's much easier, isn't it? Where you want the vertices to be and the edges and the faces, obviously. Because, you know, vertices make edges and four vertices can make a face. For those of you who is a bit confusing still. I found it confusing in the beginning. Learning everything. What's what. How to manipulate geometry. How to find my tools. In which mode. Especially in Blender because I learned in Blender. Until I um, learn in which mode I do what. <laughs> it was a bit tricky. It was much easier learning Maya. I remember I found the uh, gimbals for um, scale, rotation, and uh, move much easier to use here in Maya than in Blender. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But once I moved from Blender to Maya, um, my my workflow was much uh smoother i think maybe it's just me again you know i don't know about other people that's just my experience yeah you see little by little we're bringing them down and we have plenty of geometry here on the top and around the eyes because we added enough uh, loops so we can bring all the rest of geometry down. Let's rotate those edges. There we are. Yeah, working, um, especially doing with topology. This wasn't too bad with my small screen. But doing the topology on my small screen, I had, uh, what was it, 13 inch, I think. And um, oh, I found it so challenging. I mean, zooming in and out, in and out, in and out. My hand was cramping. <laughs> now I've got 24 inch and it's amazing. I mean, my workflow has speeded up so much, especially when I'm animating. And I have... Uh, you know, blend shape, um, <clears throat> a window open. Uh, sometimes I even have the um, uh, graph editor as well open. Not that often, but I do use it sometimes. Outliner. Then when you're doing uh, test renders, IPR. <laughs> It's like so many things and um, it's good to have a good screen for that. It's very, very good. It really speeded up my process. It's starting to get better, to look better, isn't it? Let's rotate. Rotate or move? Rotate, yeah. Let's rotate the minute back. You see now we're playing with the edges. Once we brought the faces down, usually I would start with edges, but in this case, I decided to go with the faces first. <clears throat> I don't need to pull it, pull it out a little bit. You see, I uh, try to make the same count for the lower and the upper eyelids for the edges, yeah, and faces obviously, uh, but um, I don't think uh, it actually matched at the end. It's always good to have uh, the same count, corner to corner on the eyes. Makes things easier. No, wrong edge, is it not? 
Oh no, it's the same row. Sometimes it's so confusing, isn't it? That's why I keep rotating around to make sure that I selected the same uh, loop, the edges from the same loop. You see, that's why we need to have good um, retopology. Um, and not that much so we can manipulate it. That's the reason behind the retopology. We have um, geometry where we want it. We have the topology where we want it. So we can manipulate it easy for animation and rigging as well. Because um, I've had on a character clothes, which are, were with quite a lot of geometry. And uh, it was double geometry as well because I couldn't be bothered. Um, I created the clothes. I remember for, for some of my older characters when I was practicing, when I was doing personal projects and when I was learning, I exported the clothes from ZBrush, um, how I sculpted them with not that much geometry visibly in ZBrush. But once I attached them to the rig, because it was like um, not single plane, let's say, not single plane, but double, like as if we've extruded it. And once you start skinning that, it's so painful. It's so, so painful because um, um, it's too much geometry and it's overlapping sometimes. It's just, uh, yeah. But that's how we learn. Okay, and we're done with this part. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.